I thought today we could go over how to do a valve adjustment using tappet wrenches on a GY6 or QMB139 engine. These are tappet wrenches and they come with a little thumb screw in the end that you would use to adjust the tappets. And this is the proper way, these are the proper tool to use to adjust the, the valves on your scooter. You'll also need feeler gauges. This is a feeler gauge that we sell specifically for QMB139 and GY6 with intake and exhaust measurements and it's the only two feeler gauges on there and, and they're bent and pre-bent and really handy for doing valve adjustments and it's, it's what it's built for. You'll also need a spark plug wrench and for most of these engines an eight millimeter socket to get the valve cover off. This is a QMB139 engine. It's one that we had laying around and I thought it'd be ideal for this. So I grabbed it for you and we're gonna we're gonna go to town on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove the spark plug. And we're gonna do that to release the compression on the engine so we can turn it over and get the valves to top dead center. Um, you can do it without you know, taking the spark plug out if you want to, but it really makes it a lot easier, particularly because we're turning this over by hand. So take your spark plug wrench, put it on your plug, and take that off. Next, we'll work on the valve cover. Um, it's your eight millimeter socket. You're gonna have four main valve cover bolts. I'm gonna skip over a little bit here, so you, know, you don't wanna watch me do this. So then there's also two on the bottom on this pair valve. This is the emissions valve. There will be valve covers that don't have this and valve covers that do. If you have this, it's gonna have two also eight millimeter bolts holding it in. They are shorter than the standard valve cover bolt so let me get this out and I'll, I'll show you. So you'll definitely just want to uh, take that bolt. It's really in there. You want to take that bolt and set it aside separately along with the other one so that you don't put those in as valve cover you know, assembly bolts instead. That's not what those are meant for. And we'll get this last one out a few threads and now that that is off, you can set your valve cover aside. You won't need that for a little while. Now we've exposed the valve train, the uh, rockers and, and the cam. So when looking at this, we're going to try to get these at top, that, at top dead center. Well, you, want, you want your engine at top dead center so there's no tension on the valves. Um, so you're gonna look at the holes and the markers on your cam wheel and you want these two holes with the little lines next to them to be aligned with the, the head, the, 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 the head with a big hole on top. And that will have the uh, valves detentioned, which puts them in a good position for doing an adjustment. Now we're going to grab our feeler gauge and we're going to stick it in there and we're going to see if you know it needs it or not if it doesn't go in then the valve is too tight if there's a lot of slop then the, and then it's too loose and it needs to be adjusted this one actually is pretty good but we're going to adjust it anyway so grab your tappet this is a nine millimeter tappet that's what we'll use for this and you can use that to release the tension on the lock nut and then once you do that you can put it back on the lock nut. You put the thumb screw in. It's the small square thumb screw. It's, it fits these tappets perfectly. And then you can just dial that back to release it while holding the uh, lock nut. And you can see we have a lot of room now for that, for the feeler gauge. So while the feeler gauge is in there, you can now take the thumb screw and you can gently tighten it down till it's snug on the feeler gauge. I like to put some oil on the feeler gauge. That way it doesn't bind when you're, when you're using it. So you, you move it back and forth and you, you'll find a good snug spot that you're comfortable with. The feeler gauge should be 
it should be able to move easily in and out, but at the same time, you know, it's not. And then when you find your spot, you just hold the thumb wheel and, and snug it back together and, and check again. Always use your feeler gauge to check again and she's done. So, you know, we did 0 0.004 for the intake side, 0 0.005 is for the exhaust side. I'm only doing the intake side in this video, but you'd use 0 0.005 for the exhaust side. And you duplicate this on the other side. And that is all there is to using a tappet wrench. If you've ever tried to do like a crescent, like a wrench or, or a pliers on the end of that tappet to try and do it, it's such a pain in the butt compared to just using the proper tool. And this is like a cheat code for these. So if you're going to do valve adjustments, that's the way to do it. Now we're going to put the valve cover back on, but at this point, this is a really good opportunity for you to inspect the valve cover gasket. Um, this one is clearly not good. It got crushed at some point, so we'll just get rid of that and replace it. Um, what you will find is if you have a pair valve head or a not pair valve head, the, the emission system, there is a different valve gasket, valve cover gasket for each head. So I found the correct one in our stock and I'm going to install it really fast. You'll know you'll have the correct one because it really actually just goes into the groove really easy and it fits correctly. If it's not fitting correctly, you probably don't have the correct gasket. But as you can see, it's designed specifically for a head with the emission system, and a valve cover with the emission system, and it fits right into the groove, just like it belongs there. So once you have that, You'll made it back up to the head and bolt it back up. And this should go without saying, but I like to say it anyway, always finger thread your bolts into the, into the valve cover and into the head so you don't cross thread your bolts. Um, it's easy to do, it's soft aluminum, so you know, it, it's better safe than sorry. Same goes with your spark plug. Stick it in the spark plug wrench, finger thread that in before you put a wrench on it to tighten it up, to snug it up. You will strip the spark plug hole or cross thread the spark plug hole otherwise, and, and, and nobody wants that. And this is now a valve adjusted engine. Naturally, you would then put your plastic back on your bike, but this is all there is to it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let us know.